Hello everyone, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new here. And today I thought I would do the Drawstring July video that people are hashtagging because I have a few. <laughs> I don't have a lot of Drawstring bags, but I feel like I liked them for a while, then I didn't like them, and then now I'm kind of liking them back again. <laughs> You know how that goes. Your your taste changes throughout the years. Small, big, little, me, mini. <laughs> but anyway, the bag of the day is my American Leather Company in Knockout Pink. And it is a hobo bag, but really, it's, to me, it's almost like a bucket. And I did smell the leather. It smells amazing. I don't know why in the last video I didn't smell it. But I do smell it now. And it is so soft. This leather, look, it puddles. So if you do buy it, it's not a structured bag. But it is so cute. And you can put your phone in the back. Has the, This is my Loli Pulitzer bag charm that I thought looked really cute with it. So yeah, if you haven't checked out my video on this bag, it will be down below, and here's how I packed it. I went with black accessories, my favorite Nolita 15s in there, and yeah, I just got everything that I need in it. It has so much room, and the magnetic closure, so that is going to be my bag for a few days. Dooney and Burke, I'll start with Dooney and Burke. This is called the small drawstring, small Logan drawstring, and it is in the color Brown Tomorrow. This is really a big bucket bag, <laughs> or drawstring bag, if you will. It It is definitely probably not my favorite bucket bag because of the size. It's called small but it is nowhere near it <laughs> i do love the brown tomorrow with that red fabric by the zipper the glazing's gorgeous the smell of this florentine leather is phenomenal and the the strap is decent um it's a little thin i wish it came with one of them thick guitar shoulder straps it would have been pretty but it has the Beautiful 24 karat gold plated hardware. Here's the back of it. Mine got a little scratched. Uh, right here you'll notice a little bit because, well, I was doing a video and I didn't realize I had something behind the bag and it tipped over. So I got a little tiny two scratches right there. Bummer. I know. I didn't even carry it and it did and I scratched it. I should say I have carried it. I just at this these two scratches are from me. <laughs> but other than that, it's beautiful. And it's on the back side. You can tell the front is smoother Florentine than the back side. Uh, it smells so good. Here's the bottom. Yeah, I put that scratch on it too. <laughs> I don't know. I need to take care of my Florentine better. Usually I am better. I have slight corner wear. These bucket bags, I feel like they get corner wear even if you barely even use them, that you'll get corner wear. So, yeah, be careful of the the bucket bags, drawstrings, but again, brown tomorrow. I am going to wear this in the fall. I'm determined. Oh, I even have some, <laughs> a little bit of staining. So I think I wore this when I first got it. I don't know. I think it was four or five years ago. It has this beautiful green suede right here with the red interior. There's the slip pocket. And then there's two slip pockets in the back. It's just very large. <laughs> but... If you don't feel it that much, it won't be as heavy, and it's a great drawstring bucket bag, but it's just a big bag, and that's the Logan small Logan drawstring. 
The second one I have is my Louis Vuitton Petite No Way. And there is no way this is petite. <laughs> Just like my small Logan, this is not a small bucket bag. I do really love all of the multicolor. This is the Mirakami Mira something. <laughs> I forget the name. I will put it up here. And uh, it has all these beautiful colors. I have noticed on these multicolor bags in the black noir and this white, they are going up in price. So if you're wanting one, I I don't know about the price of these multicolor bags anymore. If they're going to be re-releasing them, I, I don't know. But it does seem fishy when the multicolor pieces out there are going up in price. So mine, of course, you know, I've showed before. I have some of that red interior that it has bleeding. Not, not super bad on this side. And not on the back side. Just look at all the colors. I mean, and the detail of the Louis Vuitton on the rivets. This is a really beautiful bag, and I wish <laughs> I didn't have this bleeding happen, but it did, and I bought it that way because it was used from Fashion File, and, but the Vaquetta leather looks amazing. It's super soft, worn in. I still need to get one of those leather tabs, as I was mentioning in another video, and here is the bottom. It's not perfect, but... It's the bottom, and it actually looks pretty good. I probably need handbag heels. <laughs> I've been seeing those all over the place, and I just need to grab me a pair of those. And it did not come... This came originally with a Vaquetta luggage tag, so I usually put my own on there. So that's what that ring is for. Here is the interior that tends to bleed onto the white unfortunately they should have went with that tan or cream colored interior would have <laughs> would have not bled to the pockets but it did it has a key ring and then it's just a open bucket with one slit pocket and it's like a burgundy like i'm not sure microfiber material that they use but Somehow it bled on these white, beautiful bags, unfortunately. This is also a really great strap drop and adjustable, a little wear. I mean, I bought it used, and I've seen much worse condition bags on these petite noways than what I have. And they're asking around the same price or more. So just uh, beware, there's certain condition problems with them these white multicolor for sure but I love it anyway and look how the printing is just so pretty on this bag so this is my second drawstring bag totally forgot that this was in my collection currently uh this is a Patricia Nash and I'll put up the name here because I never remember. It's kind of a long name. I thrifted this bag and it currently is for sale. It has the tiniest little drawstring with silver and the black leather intertwined. And it's a tweed Patricia Nash. And here is the... Where is the thing? Ah. Oh. There's the Patricia Nash symbol. Has a zipper pocket in the back. It's green and yellow and has black leather details. And there's the bottom. Probably needs dust off. <laughs> there's the bottom of it. It's a beautiful bag. And it has this color of hardware. It's almost nickel with the black crossbody strap. And I have never carried this. Um, like I said, it's listed for sale. I thrifted it. Patricia Nash. There's a couple of spot ink spots. But other than that, it's really clean. And it has a magnetic closure. This almost looks like um, it's a blue. So I might be eating my words here. This might be navy blue. 
It's really hard to tell, but I think it is navy blue. And the normal setup, it's got a slip, two slip pockets, and then a zipper pocket on that side. And it's kind of a smaller size bucket bag with the beautiful details. Looks like I need to probably condition it again. It is a very soft leather drawstring bucket bag. So if you're interested in this little bucket bag, it is on my Poshmark and Mercari site. So check it out. It's not very expensive. And the only thing I saw besides the ink is a little bit of tweed pull. I think that you know, you could probably burn that to get that off, but, you know, it's it's not perfect, but it is cute. It's definitely a cute drawstring bucket bag if you're interested. Off of the Poshmark and Mercari, I will do friends and family off PayPal if you do like this. It's a cute little bucket bag, so since it's still in my collection, I thought I would throw it in for the drawstring. The last bag I have as a as a drawstring is actually now my daughter's. Uh, this was Naomi cra upcrafted. Her she makes the Dior and Louis Vuitton and Hermes dust bags into actual bags, and this was the perfect size for my daughter, and she loves this thing. And she's already gotten a little bit of wear on the drawstring, but, you know, she's 10. And she, the strap was way too long for her, so I I gave her one of my next fashion chains, and she loves to wear crossbody bags. So she's 4 foot 9 or 10, and this strap was just a little too long. Which is really tall, I think, for a 10-year-old, but... This is her wear and tear on the uh, the Dior little upcrafted. I don't think there's any more wear, but it's really pretty gold. And this gold chain looks so good with it. So I'm kind of jealous of her having it. But, you know, I have plenty of bags and she really liked this one. So I gave it to her. It has feet on the bottom. So if you haven't checked out Naomi crafted uh i'll leave her link down below but yeah my daughter ended up with my my upcrafted bag here so that is and this is the small it's very small compared to the logan right here <laughs> so you can tell the size difference <laughs> it's pretty big but anyway, that is all of my drawstrings. I only have three, and now I have two because this is my daughter's. <laughs> and I took it to show you all again this. And she, like I said, she's 10, so there's going to be a little more wear from a 10-year-old than me. But anyway, I appreciate you all watching. If you have drawstrings, so the hashtag is drawstrings for July and I will put the hashtag and put my video up for my drawstrings and what I think of them. So if you don't mind, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel. It's free. I would love to have you on here and let me know what your favorite drawstring is. I may have to get another one. Who knows? <laughs> but I would love to hear what drawstrings you have down below in the comments. So I'll see you down there. And until next time, thank you all for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.